We all, we all know what's important. Yeah. <laughs> what's going on, everyone? Juan Valdez here, and I'm here with Raymond and Jacob. And uh, we were just chopping it up for a little bit, but they're actually um, students of ours that we've had go through the P2P Accelerator. And uh, we actually just, I just took some time to kind of go through and have them give me um, a little bit of feedback as far as, you know, we, went, we covered their story, but also give me feedback on their business and how they're doing things. And uh, I kind of just explain how I do things and how I like to see e-commerce overall. But um, Raymond uh, himself, actually, was giving me a little bit of background. And it was funny because we actually related to, uh, he did start off doing door-to-door sales, which is pretty funny. He did Verizon, Verizon, right? Yeah, I did Verizon. Verizon. Yeah, I had a buddy that did Verizon back in, uh, in Mass. And I know from there, we spoke a little bit about that. And then you said you transitioned to from doing door-to-door sales into doing, was it Vimo right after door-to-door or what was right after that? I actually did Vimo when I was 20. That was before door-to-door sales. Um, I actually did a lot of things in between that. I'm a veteran. I did six years in the Army. Thank you for I your service. I sold art in the car business. Um, I've done door-to-door sales. I have my class A, I've driven 18 wheelers. I've done landscaping. I got involved in other network marketing companies. Like any, what, anything you can think of, I've probably done tree service, like all of it, the whole nine. Um, probably for the past five years, I've just been looking for a way out. Like pretty much whatever it takes, uh, I've joined numerous companies and spent thousands of dollars on mentors uh, and a lot of the things, you know, I was just chasing money and I realized along the way that I wasn't going to be fully fulfilled and I didn't enjoy what it was. Mm-hmm. So obviously it just didn't work out with those things because I only did it for the paycheck. Um, so it wasn't up until this time last year where a friend of mine was actually doing e-commerce and because of my curiosity, I uh, hit him up and he introduced me to a YouTube video and then I hit the ground running from there and that's when I introduced it to Raven. Oh, yeah. yeah, how did you guys meet? I forgot to ask you that. That's super interesting because we always hear about different stories off you, man. It's always usually uh, yeah. interesting to hear like how, you know, business partners meet. So, Raymond was my friend's cousin and we, <laughs> my cousin's friend and <laughs> We actually lived two blocks away from each other, and I never knew, Um, because he's two years younger than me, same age as my cousin. And when I got involved in Vima, within five, six months, um, I ended up buying my BMW. Um, (laughs) The famous BMW, huh? Yeah, it was it was crazy because they I pulled up one day and they were all sitting in my kitchen, whatever. And then that's when it like, oh crap, it's this is real. So he was already involved with me a little bit before that, but then this is like when it was real. Um, so I got him involved in my business and then through that we became very close. Um, after about year and a half, two years, um, we actually lost in touch after we both left the company and we started doing our own things. And then last year when I found out what drop shipping was, I was like, who am I going to do this with? Cause I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it by myself. And then I reached out to him. And we actually just started hanging out again because I like going to the gym and he wanted to be around me again because I was just positive energy and he wanted to get in shape again. So that's really how it started. And then I kind of was like feeling the waters out, seeing where his mind was, not being around him for about a year and a half. And then finally is when I introduced it to him this time last year. Dope, man. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. And so talking about how you kind of transitioned into Vima, into like e-commerce, when when you were first getting into it and kind of first getting started, what did you say? Would you say you had any experience as far as like internet marketing or any kind of online business before that, or were you kind of just like diving in there? Uh, with no, it was a completely new space um, for me. The internet world, I didn't know anything about the internet. I did sales, um, like I said, I did the Verizon files and I did sell cars, so I had that experience with dealing with people on a one-on-one base. Mm-hmm. or business to business or door to door, which is difficult when it's a completely different world. Oh, I but know. when it comes to online, it was a completely different realm because now you're trying to get someone anywhere around the world to make a purchase and you have no way of communicating with them, you know, face to face. It's all a computer screen and whatever they see in front of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's really, it's hard. It was hard for me to learn how to build emotion 
online like I did when I was in Toronto so forth. Yeah, same here, same here. Yeah, I had a lot more uh, sales experience. And uh, what I found is that a lot of things I learned in sales, I was able to transition into online, but just in different ways, you know, yeah. like in marketing, copy, things like that. And so um, for anyone that's out there right now that's just getting started, um, what was your experience? Like what kind of resources did you guys use to like learn from and uh, which ones would you say had the most impact on, you know, as far as like uh, actually learning all the ins and outs of e-commerce? Go ahead, Ali. Go ahead. Uh, P2P was good. I feel like what you did mention um, on that last thing, though, which I feel is key for a lot of people and a lot of people try to skip over it, is mindset. Because I feel like the only reason we're really here still is there was plenty of times we could have quit. And there's plenty of times we lost a lot of money, a lot more money than we made at times. And a lot of people would have just quit. But the resilience yeah. and uh, just the mindset to keep going and not stopping. And that's why we got to see this bit of success. And having a partner that when one of us feels like crap or doesn't want to keep moving, the oh, other one is pushing cool. us. And pick up the pick up the weight to bring that other person up. I think that's huge. Um, because now that we've seen a little bit, whatever, I don't consider it success, but just we've made some money online. People have contacted us, and a lot of people look for free handouts. And I don't, especially in this business, this is not a free handout thing. Like this is something that you have to fall on your face a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot to learn. It, it's 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 a different world. Mm -hmm. Um. So back to your question where, you know, what would I say contributed the most to, you know, getting us here in the beginning? What would I recommend? I'd say uh, education, watch YouTube videos. I mean, we submer we immerse ourselves or submerge ourselves in videos on YouTube, like all of that free knowledge that you can use. It's crazy. So we that was a huge part of it. And then just doing it. There's never a right time to start. Like you're not gonna have it. Do you have to just do it? And if you have to, keep doing free trials. Just, just make yeah, you have to have do free, trials. free trials. And then another thing is, a lot of people take for granted what you get for free, the free value that's given through our YouTube videos. You look over it, and a lot of the times, I found the most valuable information off of those free YouTube videos. Yeah. And um, when it really started clicking for me uh, lately with the website and e-commerce and everything, I found. What I felt was key is you got to find mentors on each specific thing. That e like each, uh, how can I put it? You got your email marketing, your Facebook ads. Everybody's really good at one thing. Each area of your e-commerce business, kind of like how we spoke about earlier. Like yeah. Every yeah. single area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I follow specific people that their methods work for me. And, and you got to test. If a lot of people don't like to test i didn't like testing in the beginning yeah. i mean like oh this product doesn't work i tested once oh it doesn't work yeah. yeah 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 that that's the one thing i tell everybody like if the name of the game is like to find winning products that you can scale to like whatever six or seven figure whatever you want to scale it to then obviously like testing is going to be huge and it's going to be you know a lot of what you do within day in and day out of your business so i know for you guys like you said you you said earlier like obviously you you had times you were losing money same here like when i first got started um you know my first week or so like we were all negative me and samir and it wasn't until like our third weekend that we actually like broke even you know and then after that we actually started making some profit and nothing crazy like 50 dollars yeah. with profit one day and the next day like the same and then, like that day after that 100 you know we kind of scaled up like that but for you guys, because I know like last time you, you sent me the screenshot last month, you guys did like almost 25K. Yeah. Um, would you say that testing, like how much how much did testing factor into the results you were able to generate? Testing was everything. Let's just put it this way. We tested for a year. So it took us. It took us about a little less than a year, probably, probably eight, nine months to actually make that. We've probably been broke we've probably broken even or actually have been negative probably this whole year not like crazy amounts but we tried three different stores before this um <laughs> things that we weren't passionate about things that we didn't do research on literally just trying it because 
it's what other people were doing. It was a competitive space. You got to stand out. So, and, and it all didn't work. And then we were just kept trying to figure out, like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we, you know, what are we going to sell? What store do we open up next? And then finally we opened this one about four months ago. And then after almost a year of learning and failing, now when we opened this, it was, I don't want to say it was easier, oh, but it happened a lot quicker naturally because of the fact that we failed with the three other stores. Yeah. So, you know, when I talk about, you know, sticking with it, like that's a huge thing. Like he said, you know, we could have given up, you know, way before that, but we kept going. You know, we worked our jobs to pay for our business, you know, uh, when we weren't making any money, we sacrificed everything. Like now, you know, we, we moved from South Jersey, now we're here in Tempe, Arizona, because, you know, like Grant Cardone says, who's got my money? You know, you want to be close to the people. That's another huge key fact, you know, trying to get as close to the people that are in the same um, space that you're in and try and learn as much as you possibly can from them. Yeah, that, 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 that's huge, man. Yeah, the fact that now you guys are able to, you know, use your job as a resource to fuel your business. And then now, you know, you guys are kind of fully doing this full time and now you're able to move, you know, completely out and into your own space in Arizona. Like that, that's huge, man. I mean, for a lot yeah. of people, that's like, uh, already a huge milestone. Like I was telling you guys, like I personally have seen the most growth from moving out. So I can't even imagine the growth that's about to happen for you guys because yeah. obviously now you, you're left with no choice but to make things work. And that's the situation you kind of want to be in because that's what really brings out like your true potential and will really bring out the best version of yourself. Because again, yeah. like you know deep down if you don't make this work, well, you're kind of screwed. So and I got to go back home and then I look dumb to all the dude, people that, I, yeah, that know that, I left. That's my biggest fear, like thinking about <laughs> how I would go back home and like talking about how I, I didn't make it and like things just didn't yeah. work out. That's that is like one of my biggest motivating yeah. factors every single day. Like having to yep. think even thinking about that is enough for me, like to get me going right away. Yep. Like if I'm yep. ever thinking about being lazy or just not getting things done, all I got to think about is going back home and regret. And I can, yeah. that's already enough. That's, yeah, that can't happen. Yeah, so that, you know, that that's huge, man. Yeah, shout out to you guys for obviously doing that. You guys have taken, you know, the right steps. Um, that's similar to it was how, when me and Samir first got started. Uh, we literally, I've been, you know, I've, I've been decent enough where I've been good enough with like managing money. So like, I was literally, I personally used all of my money from door to door and I used it to invest in every like personal training or like just self-education and yeah. investing in all kinds of resources, like literally everything. Luckily, after I invested in obviously those tools, I've always gotten my return. Like when I wanted to learn sales, I've, done, I've literally bought sales programs to increase my, uh, you know, my skill sets in sales. And that's why I was able to, you know, make money doing sales, like actually decent money. And from there, once I wanted to transition into e-commerce, I invested into trainings. And that's how, again, I equipped myself in learning. And every single time I found that I have, you know, used one resource for another to build on top like for example using door-to-door -door sales to have the money to be able to invest in training programs and then be able to use that money to fund our e-commerce business like it's yeah. always worked hand in hand and the fact that you guys did that honestly is like huge because that's like i've noticed i've been researching a good amount of like successful people and a lot of things that they do is like use one business or resource to fund another so like you guys yeah. were already already following in those footsteps and that's what i try to do like any income that I use from like e-commerce, like I literally use it to learn about other opportunities, other businesses and other things that I can also expand into because obviously that's how you keep growing. So, yeah. dude, that's, that's, that's the only way. I mean, you just want to, you have multiple sources of income. That was one of the reasons why I went and learned how to do eBay a few months ago too, because you know, it's just another source. Yeah. Even if it's a few, even if it's a thousand dollars a month, which I actually ended up doing more than I did 3000, not knowing anything. Um, it was extra money. Yeah. It was just extra money. So, you know, always, you know, look for other things and keep, you know, compounding on what that income is because it's just going to keep growing. When yeah. You do it that way. And that's crazy because I actually have never heard. So earlier uh, we were talking and right before we started this video and uh, they were telling me how, you know, they used eBay as a free traffic source. And that's actually the first time I ever heard about it, which is absolutely insane because any Tr source that you can use for free traffic like dude i'm all for it and yeah. that was honestly the first time i've ever heard it so shout out to you guys for even you know utilizing that resource because that's another thing when it comes to e-commerce like 
people tend to quit right away as soon as they don't get results or something that isn't working for them or like like say like their their Facebook ads aren't converting as well they're getting a lot more expensive they want to give up right away whether we're like when you guys have like yeah. guys like you guys that find free traffic sources to generate extra sales like even if it's not the most you know sales like that's yeah. still free traffic that you got yeah. that's free money that you picked up by going out there and learning other resources that you can use to fuel your business so uh, I don't want to keep you guys on here for too long. Uh, we can probably wrap this one. I would say if there's any main takeaway. I know I, oh, we also got to speak a good amount as far as like um, building and really um, scaling. And you guys, one thing I wanted to kind of wrap this video on is you guys mentioned how uh, it was a while until you actually started getting results, right? It took you like yeah. the, almost a whole year where you lost money and did things. And one of the things to keep in mind, I actually recorded a video on this. Um, yesterday and I spoke about it a little bit is those things that you guys went through the trial and error that you guys went through that whole time is what actually led to you getting results now it's not like there was one thing yeah. that you did this month that just like made everything click it's like yeah. you had yeah. to go through that time frame where you had to learn and, and see what things work and what doesn't to actually be able to put everything together because you know obviously e-commerce isn't like something where like you just learn overnight like yeah we no. did, i just we went when we were talking earlier like i showed you guys how like i personally like to look at e-commerce and like i like to look at it as far as like different areas and how you can break it down into like systems and all that stuff but like that's when it comes down to and it's crazy because again that's a perfect example of like that concept right you have to go through that time frame of trial and error before you like the results come right away like the only reason for me i think me and samira we got results sooner was because Samir already had spent like a year or two learning about Facebook ads. And he had yeah. actually already blew $10,000 like with getting no results, not even selling. Yeah. Like he was just trying running ads to like different pages and like literally he was just trying to run ads and yeah. he had invested like $10,000. And so he already knew about Facebook ads. So because of that, that's actually the reason why we were able to get success yeah. a lot sooner. But for anyone that's coming on brand new, like, it takes that, like it takes time yeah. to just learn all the ins and outs until like, you actually get results. And that's one of the things, like the fact that you guys stuck with it is obviously shows that it, uh, what the true potential actually is. Because of course, like now, obviously our, our goal is, obviously since we've been working with you guys to help you guys scale. And obviously, hopefully the call that we just had earlier, you know, kind of helps you guys out uh, as far as like setting up the systems and using all the resources that I kind of shared with you guys. So. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I'm really excited for you guys. Um, the growth that's coming your way, and so hopefully from here on out, uh, obviously I can help you guys, you know, scale and really help with anything, uh, you know, related to your business or even uh, resource-wise, anything else that I can possibly help out with. You know, I'm here for that as well. So uh, if there's anything else you guys want to include, anything else that you would advise for anyone that's either just getting started or uh, that's looking to get results with an e-commerce, any last-minute things. Okay. One thing, uh, don't get stuck learning. Don't get trapped in learning every day. Keep learning and learning what you don't do. And don't keep doing and doing without learning from your mistakes. There has to be an even flow in that. You have to learn and do and learn and do and learn and do, not just learn, 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 learn. And you're never going to get anywhere. Uh, so I'm an old man, I'm 26 years old, I think, what I'd say, because I've been on this entrepreneurial journey for five, six years now. Um, don't let anybody get in the way of what you're trying to do. If you truly believe in something deep down and you think that, you know, you can make it happen, um, just go for it and be as resilient as possible and do whatever it takes because... If that wasn't the case for me specifically with this, then we wouldn't be here right now because I would have given up a long time ago. But because I stuck with what I believed in for more than, you know, five years, you know, it brought me here and then I ended up introducing it to him. And now, you know, we were able to work together and make things work with this. So I think that's my biggest word of advice. Um, you know, just, just do what you believe in and don't let anybody, you know, hold you back from that because... They'll try. People love old they people, will. Man. They, as DJ Got Khaled it. says, well, they, they will. They will for sure, man. Yeah. Dude, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for hopping on here, having this call. Yeah. And yeah, I appreciate all the feedback for 
you know, not only for me, because these guys, I also got to learn, I also get to learn from these guys and some of the minds that they have. Uh, so I hope all you guys watching picked up or thing that's you. And if you did, um, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe, join the V fam. If you have any questions about anything that we went over, anything that you still lost about, just drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys.